Referee stepping away. Ball is up, and we are underway here at Seagull Stadium. And Salisbury quickly coming away with the ball. It's Caroline McKenna. McKenna, senior defender, who just passing the ball back and forth. Ball right now over uh, behind the net. Now looking for a lane and a low shot, and that one is in. And you caught it, Jack, early scoring. That one is good, and it's Emma Scoglin with the first goal of the game. So Gettysburg now taking it on offense for the first time, trying to clear it and almost running into trouble there. And now they do. Salisbury able to come, excuse me, come away with the takeaway. So Salisbury with a chance to make it a 2-0 lead here with 12-13 remaining in the first quarter. Low shot, bounces, and that one goes in. Another shot, another goal. Cameron Pepper on the board for the Seagulls. Lock continues to take as Salisbury holds on to it again. And Salisbury getting their shots off, but uh, other than those three, as that one, again, hear me speak, that one low to the corner, and it's good for a Salisbury goal. Meredith Price, it looks like, with that goal for the Seagulls. And so, you know, Coach Nestor obviously has done great things with this program, and the cross runs in the family. And a shot there, and that one is good for Salisbury. They retake the lead with that shot from Lydia McNulty. So we're just over a minute and a half left to go here in this opening quarter with SU leading five to four and a great stop there by Mary Heisel. And that I think is what, uh, what we're used to seeing from the senior goalkeeper. Uh, regardless, it does not go in for the bullets. 10 seconds left here in the first quarter. Gettysburg trying to tie this one up. Four seconds going in for the shot. That one taking it right into the stick of Mary Claire Heitzel. And that's how this first quarter is gonna end. Five to four, Salisbury on top, but this one is uh, shaping up to be a classic. Uh, unable to take advantage of the, the field playing goalkeeper, but uh, nonetheless, the, the Bullets will, will take, the, uh, take the offensive unit into work here. Sophie Smith has the ball taken away, and Salisbury recovers. Jack Gettysburg has definitely had uh, SU's number in the past few meetings. As that shot is taken, and it's into the goal for Salisbury, Meredith Price, there she gets her second goal, and Salisbury breaks the tie now up six to five. USU players around her. A pretty straightforward shot. That one bounces. No good. And the clock will hit triple zero. That's the end of the first half. And we are tied up six to six here at Seagull Stadium. Salisbury looking for somebody to open up in the middle. And Scannell sprinting towards the middle, but nothing there. Now off to McNulty. McNulty going for the shot. Took the shot, but a whistle was blown just before. It doesn't matter though. Looks like it's going to count. Speaking of McNulty, she has the ball again. Looking for a hat trick, but instead has to feed the ball off. And now that shot by Leah Velo, or excuse me, Aaron Scannell. And that one is good for a Salisbury goal. The SU takes the lead for the first time in this second half as she gets ready for this free position play with SU. Takes a low shot, and that one goes in. And Scoglin's another one, Jack, as that one is passed off to Aaron Scannell for the goal. Not gonna mess it up that time. No doubt who made that one, Scannell just one-on-one. -on -one. And now Salisbury has a 10-8 lead for the Seagulls. 4.34 left to go here in the third. Below with the shot, and that one is good. And she is fired up after that one as Salisbury takes a three-goal lead, their biggest of the afternoon. Good players that you can plug in there between the pipes. Uh, unfortunately, here in this third quarter, it has not done very well, but a great stop there by Mary Claire Heisel into the air. Gettysburg still holding on to it, but again, Mary Claire Heisel playing like that national champion uh, goal. That was a great defensive play there by Natalie Held. You know, was not able to hold on, but Salisbury again holding on to possession. Eight seconds, Scoglin goes for a low shot, nothing there. Four seconds on the shot clock. That one goes in, another Seagull goal, and it's by Lydia McNulty. It's going to be a far cry as far as weather, hopefully, than, than what we're getting today. Final few seconds in this one. Salisbury should be able to hold on and just run this one out. 14 to 9, the score. Just running around. Final few seconds. Three, two, one, and this one is in the books. Number one stays on top as the Salisbury University women's lacrosse team defeats Gettysburg 14 to 9. And what a performance from this SU women's lacrosse team.